Master is such a sweet, darling liar! Hi, Joe. Is my usual ready? Coming right up, Dr. Bellows. Say, uh, you just missed Major Nelson. Major Nelson? In here? And boy, has he got problems uh, with his roommate. They uh, don't get along. <laughs> I see. Uh, thanks for telling me, Joe. Thanks very much. Again, my master should not have to think about silly little things like cleaning the house and fixing meals. He will find it much easier to be compatible with Major Healy if I fix the house. <laughs> Champagne, and we have caviar, and we're gonna have the most beautiful party anybody ever had. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, and it was such a surprise. How did you know that I wanted a birthday party? You're psychic, I guess. Oh, you are the most wonderful master a genie ever had. Well, I haven't had too much experience at this, genie, but you're the most wonderful genie a master ever had. Oh. A lot of people at the party. Would you? Jeannie, who are all these people? Oh, these are just a few of my friends. <laughs> oh, this is Major Nelson. Thank you. Benjamin Franklin. How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? Have you seen Mark Anthony? Yeah, well, not lately. Oh. Uh, Jesus, please. Uh, this is Major Nelson, Marie Antoinette, you do? William Shakespeare. How do you do? Oh, she, I, there was nothing I could do about it. She's through having a copy made of it. She's going to find you a wife. Uh, well, no, who could afford a wife? I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to pay for the stuff you broke. This is what a disaster. What am I going to do without my bottle? I don't know, Jeannie. Blink up another one. I do not want to blink up another one. I want my bottle back. But you heard what she said. She's going to have a copy made. It's going to be ready in a couple of days. And where will I sleep in the meantime? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, look, look, look. Nice drawer. You'll be comfortable in there. I do not want to sleep in a drawer. Well, uh, here, look, look. Uh, I think I will take your bedroom. 
But mine? Well, where would I stay? In the drawer, master. Jeannie! Oh, no. <laughs> Jeannie! <laughs> there. You will be nice and comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Jeannie, you expect me to sleep in here? Yes, master. And in the morning, I'm sure you will have thought of a way to get my bottle back. <laughs> Now, wait one minute, young lady. If you think you're going to get away with this... Hey, now what? Jeannie! Ah! you, Tony? I don't like practical jokes. In the middle of the night, in an old English house. <laughs> All right. All right, who is it? of Queen Jeannie, step forward and announce yourself. You are not her master any longer. Then I demand the right to ask for her hand in marriage. Marriage? But, but master, you, you said that... I know what I said, Jeannie, and I must have been out of my mind. I can't live without you. I love you, and I want you to be my wife. Oh? <laughs> master! <laughs> Jeannie, it was a nightmare. A nightmare. Now, you go you go back to your bottle and forget all about it. It's just a dream. Oh, that is what worries me, Master. My dreams always come true. Oh. But, uh, your dreams always come true? Oh, yes, Master. Something terrible is going to happen. Oh. No, no. No, 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 don't worry. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Oh. oh, I know. Nothing is going to happen to me, Master. It is going to happen to you. my own wedding, and it is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. 
you see what I mean, Jimmy. It, uh, it won't work. It just won't work. Your mind is made up, then? Yes, yes, it is. I... I will miss you, Master. I'll miss you, too. I am yours until midnight. I, I would like to do something for you. Uh, no, nothing, thank you. Oh, please, it will make me so happy. No, really. I want you to look nice for Miss Galaxy. Oh, well, thank you very much, Ginny. Oh, thank you very much. Would you like me to build you a wonderful restaurant to take her to? No, no, that won't be necessary, Ginny. Uh, Tokyo House will be fine. Well, I... I, I guess there's... Nothing else I can do for you. Well, I better be getting along. Will you be here when I get back? If you return before midnight. <clears throat> uh, Jeannie. Yes? I, um, I just wanted to thank you for everything. Oh. Would you kiss me goodbye? Oh, sure. Andee gush bifarmone toem sarvar. Well, I... Uh, I think you'll find that Major Nelson has an explanation for almost everything. Uh, you can explain it, can't you, Major? <laughs> well, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to tell you the truth, sir. I know what you're going to tell me. When you learned that your car had been used for the bank robbery, you tracked down the bank robbers and captured them single-handed. Right, Major? I couldn't have explained it better myself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Get these people out of here. <laughs> I really don't understand you, Major Nelson. In fact, I never have. We've been through some baffling experiences before, but this... This is incredible. Would you mind telling me what you're doing in armor? Never mind. All I can say is that I've never been so relieved in my life that you congratulate <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's done it to me again. I must admit, Major, that your explanations were extraordinarily clever. I'll resign my commission, of course, sir. And Jeannie and I will go away where we're not known and start life all over again. What a waste to the space program. I'd rather be married to Jeannie than be an astronaut, sir. Oh, Anthony. Call me master. <laughs> Jeannie, I always thought that you were a charming and wonderful girl, a perfect wife for Major Nelson. Magic or no, I see no reason why I should change my opinion. Thank you, Dr. Bellows. Major Nelson, all things being considered, and I mean all things, uh, it's been a great honor and a pleasure working with you. Uh, good luck. Thanks, sir. Oh, excuse me. <laughs>